Hey, what's up guys? This is Alvin, aka Mediva Halls, and today I'll be talking a bit about customizing figures. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought that um, I'll just do something a bit different. And, um, okay, first off, I'm gonna just profess that I'm, I'm no um, expert customizer. I've been customizing figures for about one to two years. And since then, I think I've put together some uh, 20, 30, 40 figures. I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I didn't really keep track. Yeah, and most of them are um, Mesco toys, uh, Mythic Legions uh, kind of figures. So uh, I'll just, I guess I'll just share some of the, the things that I've discovered along the way. Uh, I hope that it'll help out those who just uh, started on the customizing journey. Uh, and I think I've learned a lot, you know, from from those in the customizing community, the toy collecting community. Some of them have been really, really helpful. So, so thank you guys for, for that. And um, a special shout out to Schizo Customs for this wonderful diorama piece. Uh, it's absolutely fabulous. Right, so yeah, um, yeah. So I just thought that I'll start with with the the very first custom figure that I've ever made. Uh, that is the Hush uh, Batman that is on the Mesco Sovereign Knight body, and yeah. Uh, the reason why I even got started on the customizing journey is that, unfortunately, um, for those who collect Mesco figures, you know that. The issue with uh, soft goods is that they may not last and for uh, for this particular figure unfortunately the gray suit became a kind of a dirty brown <laughs> so I, I I had to uh, commission someone to do up this this suit uh, I'm not gonna go into specifics of uh, who the different artists are because that would take way too much time you know, I cannot possibly remember everyone as well. So, um, these I forget. Um, yeah, you can always just uh, DM me and ask me, hey, where do you get this from? All right. So, um, yeah, I think one of the things about custom figures is that, uh, you know, it's, it's about taking apart the figure. So, things like the gauntlet, uh, even the cowl over here, um, as you can see and yeah the boots as well um, they are they are fixed on on a kind of uh, pegs yeah and to to uh, dismantle them you have to use uh, some form of heat so so you can use a, a hair dryer and depending on which on where where you are uh, I would suggest anything between one minute to about five five minutes of a uh, hair dryer treatment, and that is heat uh, directed at at this at this uh, the part that you want to take out. All right, it is very important to do this because, especially if 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 you live in a country where you have winter or you know, autumn and it gets really cold, there is a chance that the packs might break off, and you know that that wouldn't be a nice experience. So. I, I would um, just give an example. I don't have a hair dryer with me now, uh, but you, yeah, so just imagine this is the hair dryer and you just, so I will just put it here and just go at it for for about a minute or two. Um, where, I'm, where I'm from is, is really humid and hot, so it's usually not a problem. Yeah, so be sure to heat up the, the packs before removing them. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest using hot water for, for soft goods, because, um, I've tried it before, uh, with fabric material. Once it gets wet, uh, it gets slippery sometimes, so you can't really get a firm hold on the on the other parts. Yeah, so I suggest that for, Mesco figures especially. Uh, yes, this um, using a hairdryer will be the best way. 
But if you are using, but if you are doing swaps for things like Marvel Legends, Black Series, where it's completely plastic, then dipping them in boiling water would be the best uh, way to, to, you know, get, get things off. So just to give you an example, um, I, I have with me a VToys Zero body. Yeah, so this, this is an excellent uh, blank body to use for, for Superman figures. Yeah, and if you look at this uh, part, um, yeah, the foot pack here, you can you can remove this uh, and and swap it out for um, an an ankle. Uh, I'm not sure what to call it. Yeah, you can swap it out to an, a, a different lower leg such that uh, you can you know put um, the boots on. Yeah, so it's swappable. Unfortunately, the swap isn't so straightforward. You have to really put it in boiling water. I've tried it with a uh, high heat. Uh, on the hair dryer, but it doesn't really come off. Yeah, so you have to experiment with different, um, different bodies, and uh, you can ask around. This is really solid plastic, so you, I, I dipped it in boiling water for about five minutes before I attempted the switch, the swap. Yeah, so uh, I've broken one leg, uh, unfortunately, because I didn't use enough heat. So I hope that that doesn't happen to you because. Um, Whatever bodies it is, it's still money. All right, and I would say that you have to make sure that you, yeah, just use a really hot water, high heat, uh, to to take it out. All right, yeah, so I think with most uh, Mesco figures, actually, um, a hair dryer is is usually enough. Right. Okay, so um, that being said, I would say that uh, breakage, uh, one thing to note when you do custom figures is that while we don't like it at all, um, things may not go your way sometimes. So sometimes packs may break. Um, yeah, packs, the, the packs may break off, you know, some parts that might go wrong, will go wrong, you know, you may drop drop uh, certain parts and, you know, it breaks. So I I think, oh, it sucks for sure, you know, but I've learned to, you know, kind of deal with it. Uh, that's part and parcel of customizing, <laughs> unfortunately. And even for things like sewing, yeah, so th for this particular Batman, um, it's, it's a one piece, yeah, so if you look at it, um, it's I actually leather stitched uh, this. Yeah, although it's not really smooth, but uh, I think it works. And of course, it's not so straightforward at the start. Uh, I have to, you know, learn how to do it. Uh, yeah, and you know, there are plenty of YouTube videos around for you to go and see. Yeah, what kind of uh, figures may fit your kind of things may fit your bill right so the next thing that I want to talk about is is that uh, you have to be you have to have an idea what what you want to do with your customs yeah and find a base body for it so over here I have an all-new uh, daredevil yeah, so this I this was on a regular Daredevil, Mesco Daredevil body, uh with a custom suit, uh custom oh no, actually it's not a custom neck. So the the neck peg I I painted I repainted it. Mm, or as you can see there's still some some parts that yeah the yellow is showing. I probably have to touch up on that. Yeah, so yeah, so this is this is a a custom suit uh with a custom belt, uh another um yeah, I, I ordered some something from action figure customs. Um 
this is from six inch plus this is from tony may this is from soul river customs painted by jcm customs the boots by action figure customs as well yeah so as you can see i i you know one figure itself might be um you might have artists uh, being involved in in creating that that figure that you want so there's no limit to that the most important thing is to have fun enjoy it uh, and one thing to note is that custom figures are not cheap All right so that's the second or third thing that i i want to add because um sometimes we think that oh you know i really like this figure and i want to do something similar but all the parts add up you know and if you want something to look like what you want then i think you have to pay you have to pay for it if you don't pay for it then you have to find the next better alternative which might not be what you want so you have to be prepared to shell out that that amount you know to get that perfect custom that you want yeah so um so just to give you an idea this uh something like a custom hit a custom hit like this would set you off about 70 70 usd um a suit like that maybe about well i can't remember now but maybe about 70 80 usd um the gun the boots the boots and and the hand wraps uh uh came unpainted so i paint i painted it myself uh the belt came unpainted so all this add up to i see now this is about 12 usd 20 usd um yeah so th it it will cost a few hundred bucks you know if you do custom figures and i mean unfortunately that's the, that's the way it is if you want to do your figure the way you want it then you have to pay the price for it and sometimes it's just a normal regular hit swap um oh i guess this would be the best example of a hit swap so this is a, a scarecrow custom scarecrow and it's just a regular uh, mesco um, nosferatu figure a base body with the hands so it's a vampire it's a va uh, nosferatu is a vampire so i think the hands work really well nothing changed here except i i bought some uh rope and i tied i tied a noose around the neck so this this is well this this is not not expensive um yeah and a custom printed and custom painted head oh um yes i think it's awesome and as for this uh, uh scythe um is that what you call it <laughs> not sure how to pronounce it uh yeah as for this uh scythe um it's it's from um lady lady death yeah the lady death figure yeah so this is just a simple um custom hit on on you know with, with this so if you can do something like this it doesn't have to set you back a lot you know and can always just if i don't want this figure anymore i'll just sell the head um and just sell the Nosferatu body so I, I like my customs to be kind of like versatile such that it can go back to what they once were in its original form <laughs> right so another example of um, of many parts coming together would be uh, my custom flashpoint batman yeah so Again, this is from different artists. Uh, this is from. I'm trying to remember now. Um, yeah, well, just just too many artists. Yeah, so it's two artists were involved in the head sculpt. Um, yeah, this by another artist. The suit is by another artist. The harness is by another artist. The sword is by another artist. Um, what else? yeah so so i i think 
yeah, different artists will will, will help to bring your um figure together. Yeah, but once you do it, you, you really enjoy it. Alright, and another example of something that's not too complicated uh, is, is this. Uh, so it's a custom Mr. Freeze. So this is on the Baron Benz, Mesco Toys Baron Benz body with a cable, um, with a gun taken from cable, a PX cable. And nothing was changed here. It's just a, yeah, it's a custom printed head of Mr. Freeze. Yeah, by 112 Customs. Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. And for this, I just got it from, I can't even remember where now. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's just uh, some household item Yeah, that I got. So somehow it just fits really nicely. Um, okay, well, it's not perfect, but you know, it works. So I'm not too bothered by that. Yeah, so this doesn't have to cost a lot. So what I paid for was just this um, custom painted head and yeah, the rest from taken from other figures. So your custom figure doesn't have to be really expensive. You know, if you can see different parts coming together, then yeah. Hey guys, uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, my video just stopped recording halfway. <laughs> so I've been yakking on for five minutes before I realized that it wasn't recording. So I stopped at Mr. Freeze, um, so I thought I'll just continue. Yeah, so the next uh, custom figure that um, I want to talk about is uh, if let's say, if you feel that you don't want to put in the work, then you can get someone to do it for you. So this is a custom uh, green arrow that I, I got uh, Mentry Projects to do, to do up for me. Because uh, if, you, if you do collect the green arrow uh, from Mesco Toys, you you will know that the suit um, can start flicking off at the platter. Um, unfortunately, where I'm living in, in, in Singapore, it, it has very high humidity. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's horrible. Um, yeah, but this, this is something which uh, I sent the figure over to him and he did up uh, really nicely. So, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a job well done and I don't have to do much for it to look good. Yeah, so on the other end of the spectrum, something that I did a lot, uh, I put a lot of work into is is this uh, Aquaman figure. Yeah, so uh, the top half is is uh, the V Toys Zero body. Yeah, the top half of it is the V Toys Zero body, and the bottom half is the Mesco uh, Aquaman bo uh, body. The lower half of it and yeah so i repainted repainted the um the legs and the boots um and for this armor bits it's from the movie aquaman yeah so i stripped the movie aquaman and i put different parts on him uh, and this is and this portion is a 3d printed yeah by 3d marine and a custom head as well yeah so i don't think this cost me of too much uh you know the v toys body is not too expensive the aquaman figure is not too expensive as well so it's uh surprisingly quite manageable yeah the only thing that i haven't really figured out is how to attach you know because the the packs the pack uh the Mesco pack is, is rather huge. Uh, While well, this one is quite small, so I had to shave it down with a pen knife. Uh, it it wasn't a. It was, an exercise in patience for sure. Okay, and with regards to painting, I, I painted all this. Uh, and you have to be careful. You have to remember to seal your paints. And unfortunately, I I was too excited about this. I didn't seal the paint, and there was some paint rub. Yeah, so. Do remember to seal your paint, your paints, guys. Please remember to seal your paints. Otherwise, otherwise it's gonna look horrible. Yeah, otherwise it's gonna look horrible. Okay, so so that that's that for this um, 
custom Aquaman. And yeah, so th another figure that I want to talk about is this uh, custom um, Captain America. Yeah, so I didn't really like the, the suit by uh, Mesco because there were a lot of uh, scales on it and the scales come off. Every time you strike a pose, uh, some, some scales will get affected. So yeah, I didn't really like posing that figure at all. So I decided to do my own. Yeah, so this this is a custom, a custom belt, custom suit, custom head. Uh, yeah, so it's only let's see now. Yeah, so so the boots and the gauntlets and the shield are the only ones that are from the original figure. Even the base body, I I use a GW Toys uh, base body. Yeah, so this is a GW Toys base body that I used. Yeah. So speaking of which, let me just uh, give a little feedback about that. Um, yeah, I I don't really want to say like bad things about companies. Honestly, I think the GW Toys body uh, is is a really nice body to use because um, it's it's tight. Um, and it's not it's not tall, so if if you were to compare it with so if you want to use it on a Batman uh, figure, it totally works with a Superman figure because then you know, um, yeah, it, it doesn't tower, so Batman won't tower over Superman, yeah, or or they have the same height, you know, so we expect Superman to be a bit taller than Batman, yeah, so I think it works um, in terms of height. If you have this as Superman and this as Batman, uh, I think it works really nicely in terms of scale. The unfortunate thing about this is that it comes with uh, an arm swap, a swappable arm for uh, for for the gauntlets. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the packs um, and it's it's really tough to take it out. I've tried it with hot water. I've tried it with. Uh, uh, not just hot water. I've tried it with boiling water. I've tried it with, with a hair dryer, um, and it doesn't come out. Yeah, so it broke. Um, it's very unfortunate. Um, I'm not sure why it's like that. Uh, probably write to them and ask what's going on. You know why? Why do you give me such an inferior product? Uh, but I I guess this is the way some things are. I just have to accept them for the way they are, All right? So just just take note, uh, these things happen when you do customizing and it sucks. You know, I I was I felt really frustrated the entire time. Um and uh, after a while I just realized, hey, you know, it's just toys. Uh if you don't enjoy it then you know just move on to other bodies. Yeah. But as you can see it works on a cust on a, a Captain America quite well um, and I guess it works for Batman if you are able to get that uh, uh, got that that arm peg off <laughs> all right so uh, other customs that I've done is yeah so this is a bad girl you no know, figure yeah which is on a Mesco cat woman so the Mesco Cat Woman uh, body unfortunately does not have a lot of articulation, but you know it works for for uh, Batgirl in this suit. So this is a uh, three D printed and painted by Vault Customs, um, uh, at least for the head sculpt, right? So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, and he also printed. Yeah, the symbol, the belt, the gauntlets. Yeah, so uh, the cape. Yeah, from is from an art, another artist, uh, Rebel Ten Customs. Yeah, so I think it fits really well. I guess uh, I should have painted it gold, but that's uh, fine. So yeah, so this is a pretty nice uh, back girl figure. 
other things to look out look out for um, okay so this is a nightwing figure on a daredevil mesco daredevil body yeah so i guess you just have to be careful about um, these uh, soft soft goods pleather just make sure things don't get caught yeah and don't get too frustrated when you can't get paint jobs uh, done properly um, it takes time it definitely takes time right you don't you don't rome wasn't built in a day you know <laughs> yeah and so this is an example of a yeah of a hawk man that i painted recently yeah so it took a really long time for me to get the the eyes right yeah so um yeah focus is out of whack yeah yeah so i just want to say that it's it takes time you know the practice uh, definitely takes time yeah. so 3d printed stuff sometimes it's it's i mean just just give it a shot yeah so this is an example of uh, how it looks on a 3d printed uh resin usually it's it's gray yeah and i'm in the midst of painting painting this up yeah. okay Ooh, sounds like it's gonna rain yeah so sometimes um things like this uh an alex ross kingdom come superman yeah, so this is on a V Toys body and uh, custom boots. The boots, of course, uh, fit. Um, Action Figure Customs has made it fit rather well. Uh, the suit is by Handy Chung on Instagram. Action Figure Customs with head scalp. Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, generally. You know, putting the figure together is not really an issue yeah so just bite your time and enjoy the process of doing it uh, sometimes it may require some stitching you know so for this recovery suit superman yeah you can do some stitching as you can see i messed up the stitching yeah so it doesn't look very clean but you know it's it's the back so you don't look at you don't display a figure like this right unless it's akuma from street fighter yeah but usually you put him like standing front facing right so this is just a simple suit yeah. so you just uh, stick on the b-toys body and yeah just let us let us stitch it up and have a custom head Oh yes, um, one thing about custom heads is that some some people, you know, they you, you have to recognize that they are 3D printed. So, uh, so you have to use a bit of like blue tack or putty, you know, to secure it in place. It doesn't, I mean, some, some people I know, they, they complain about like, hey, it doesn't fit exact, exactly the, the way I want it, you know, so can you do it like, in such a way that it fits perfect uh, my take is that um, come on guys you know the customizer th that artist that prints stuff don't know what kind of bodies you're gonna use so some packs are bigger some packs are smaller you know so if they make a pack that's too big you know it's, it's gonna annoy some people if it's too small you can't fit on most most packs yeah and and you know to dremel and, and do all that so it doesn't make sense so having a bigger um, kind of like uh, area allows allows you to you know custom make however way you want it to. So to me, I don't think it's a problem at all. Um, I don't think it should be a problem for anyone, to be honest. Yeah. Right. So um, so yeah. Sometimes the suit, a custom suit, can transform toy. Uh, and make it and take it to a level that's higher. So for black mask, um, yeah, he, he the Mesco one comes in 
a, a black suit. Yeah, so this this white suit is absolutely stellar. Yeah, so it's about putting things together again. You know, the buttons and all you have to apply it yourselves. Uh, yourself. So I I took some um, I don't know what you call it pliers, uh, something to to put the buttons on. You know, with some fabric glue. Yeah. So yeah, you, you just have to find, um, you just have to be patient when you do your customs. I know you want to see the end product, you want to see everything that comes, uh, you know, done really nicely, you know, but sometimes if you're a bit impatient, then you might spoil certain things. Yeah, so you wouldn't want that to happen to your custom figure. All right, so my thing is just be patient with, with the things yeah, that you do, right? Uh, and let's see if there's anything else. Um, so I've I've used uh, you know, uh, bootleg figures before. So this is on a bootleg uh, Mesco Toys uh, Punisher figure. So I I bought the bootleg base body and and uh, this is a Tony May suit for Tony May Tony May head sculpt. Uh, yeah. So unfortunately, when you buy bootleg stuff uh, I gotta warn you that the joints are usually it, it might be half the price a quarter of the price even even a tenth of the price is it a tenth of the price? yeah um, but sometimes the issue with it is that the joints are really loose so it may not be able to stand I guess I, I'm quite fortunate with this in that uh, this uh, the bootleg one is uh, is quite tight. The joints are quite tight for this, so it still works. Uh, but I had to paint uh, the peg because it was a sort of off-white color that that didn't match. You know the hands, so that that's the problem with, with it. You have to you have to you know find some way to. Um, go get around that, that cheap stuff. So to me, I, I think it's not really worth the effort if I can't really pose my figure. Yeah, so I I have stopped going for bootleg uh, items, actually. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess more or less uh, I've covered what I, I want to say. Uh, you know, with the figures, I hope that this will be uh, a good um, introduction to customizing. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> what you've gotten out of it, but I hope that this has been useful for you. So thank you guys and be sure to subscribe to my channel and, and like this video and leave me a comment uh, you know, if you have any questions. I may not get back immediately, but you can also find me on uh, Instagram, Medieval Halls. Yeah, and you can always just ask me for tips and, and such, you know, or just strike a conversation. So cheers guys.